Hello and welcome to the 1994 Powys Enduro, which once again is being sponsored by Humphreys and Fowkes, a car dealers from Newtown. And the solo rider coming to meet us is number 29, Chris Baines on the Suzuki 125. Number 31, Steve Fletcher from Newtown. Remember, all these riders have finished the first special test and then they come straight on to this one. Local rider Jeff James from Lambrin Mire. He must know his way round. He's keeping tight to the fence. Number 35, a stockboard rider, Andrew Owen. I can't remember seeing him earlier this year. A Kawasaki coming next. It's Kevin Birch from Bargoid. Oh, he's put in the mud to fly. It looks as though he's going through all the muddy spots. This rider looks to be in a hurry. It's Rhett Parker from Stockport. Oh, the bog has brought him to a standstill. Number 55 is Hayden Powell from Cumbran. And the next rider, Owen Windsor from Stockport. He got a bronze medal at Camoen. This looks like Mark Rollison from Nuneaton. He's in a hurry. That's the way to ride these bogs, really, as long as you can hold on to the bike. Well done, Mark. You should have a good time on this test. I think you might be a bit quicker than your father. Oh, steady on, Clive. Yes, it's Clive Rollison, and he fell off just like that at the Little Oaks. Someone in a hurry and shouting at Clive. It's David Green from Stockport in the over 40s class. It's Ray Bartlett from Sirencester. I remember seeing him at the Little Oaks. He finished the day there too and got a silver medal. David Kayes from Cumbran with his headlight on. And now he got a bronze medal at Camoen. And over there in the distance, number 63, Alan Clark. He rode in the mountain top a couple of weeks ago. He changed his bike a while ago. He used to ride a Suzuki and now he's on a Honda. Oh, it's uh, 76, Steve Smith from Aspie de la Zouche. He's in the over 40s class. I think I've seen Steve riding at Colsty. This is Darren Peel from Radio on the Big Husky 610. He didn't start the season too well. Failed to finish the Radnor, but he won the Little Oaks. He also won the Mountain Top. Elliot Marsden next. Uh, he's been out quite a bit this season and managed to finish every event he's been in. It's someone on a Kawasaki 125. It's Neil Mottershead, number 100. <laughs> Neil finished ninth overall at the Radnor, got a silver medal at Camoen, and a bronze medal at the Isker. Another local rider, Ian Jones from Kyosus, he finished fourth overall at the mountain top. I don't know who that rider is on our right, but it might be a good line out there. Wait a minute, it could be Johnny Edmonds. He's literally flying across this test. He must be one of the fastest clubman riders we've got this year. He's regularly putting in test times which are quicker than all the expert riders. In fact, at some of the meetings, he's been quicker than most of the championship riders. Two riders come to the stream crossing together. It's Philip Madden on the Husky, and he's been passed by uh, Keith Isaac. The second one, who's coming on a different line, is Andrew Edwards from Wrexham. Andrew's the top clubman rider in the British Championship this year. He's won both the Breckland and the Iska. And the next rider is Dale Humphreys from Oswestry. He's been riding regularly this year. Got a gold medal at the Breckland. Finished eighth overall at the Iska. He was seventh at the Radnor. Got a gold medal at Camoen. <laughs> That's Phil Wilkinson from Cumbran. I thought he might have ridden in the over 40s class. Another two riders coming up over the hill. The first one is Richard Davis from Lundvanad. Oh, the 
second rider is able. Oh, he just manages to hold on to the bike. It's Hugh Price from Dolgethly, and that was a close one. Mark Godfrey does a wheelie for us. Ali Jones going very quickly. He got a bronze medal at the mountain top, but it wasn't one of his better events. This is a local rider, Hugh Clark from Clatter. He's in the Clubman B class. Jeff James, Lambrin Meyer. The sportsman and sidecar riders do one lap here in the Dublin. To everyone else does two. This is number 40, Tudor Lewis, and he's supposed to stop here because a footpath crosses the track and the riders must get off and push their bikes across. <laughs> Kevin Birch from Bargoid, uh, that was number 37. And this is Andy Blizzard. Right. Hello. Both riders see the signs and get off and push. Rhett Parker coming down through the trees. This is one of those tracks which has been used for pulling out timber. Another two riders appear. The first one, 52, Raymond Bowen. He's followed by 49, Mark Livingston. Ray Bartlett from Silencester. His time on that second test, well, a good minute slower than Mark Rollison, but uh, he's out to finish the day. I think that's the main thing too for the sportsman riders. If you can finish the powers, you've really achieved something. Number 54, David Kays from Cumbran. His test time was 4 minutes 57 seconds. In the sportsman class, uh, 12 out of the 30 odd riders managed to do that test in under 4 minutes. 55 is Hayden Powell, 61 Paul Rigby. Uh, both of those riders were a little bit over 4 minutes on the test. Expert rider Steve Grimshaw, that first test looks to have given some of the riders a bit of a problem. Steve's time was 7.35. Rider in blue, number 72, Stan Howitt in the over 40s class. And right behind him, Giles Greenaway, one of our top clubman four-stroke riders. Giles manages to get past Stan. Another four-stroke rider, Tony Goodman. Oh, and a stream of riders coming next. 85 is Jerry Jones, Steve Smith next, and behind him, number 88, Richard Bull. The first of the Clubman A riders, Ian Jones from Kaisus, he's put in some very impressive test times. Second fastest on test two with a time of 2.34. Neil Motta's head on that second test, his time was 3.16. Eight of the Clubman riders have managed to go round in under three minutes. And here comes Jaunty, he was second fastest on the first test, uh, 5.03. And although his second test was under three minutes, five riders have gone quicker than him. Here comes the fastest man at the Powys this weekend, Keith Isaac from Lambrin Meyer. First test, 4.59, second test, 2.20. Those are incredible times, even Andrew Edwards couldn't keep up with that. He was 40 seconds slower than Keith on the first test and 26 seconds slower on the second. The last rider in that trio, Mark Vaughan from Knighton. Number 109, Peter Hibbert from Oldham. He's in a bit of trouble and he'd be holding up the two riders behind him. Oh, they managed to get past. Well, Andy Perry does, but Peter Twig falls off. It's Sean Judge on the Suzuki and he doesn't even stop to see how his teammate Peter Twig's getting on. Yes, the same to you, Sean. Another rider behind, it's uh, Dale Humphreys, number 115. He was one of those eight clubman riders to break three minutes on the second test. The next one, Phil Wilkinson, also quick on that second test. Phil's time was 2.57. That's David Ellis on the Suzuki, his time 6.47 and 3.10. Alan Reed was a bit quicker, 6.19 and 3.04. One of the sportsman riders going through, that's Andrew Owen. Number 36 is Charles Thompson, and you can see a route marker over there, right by him. He's got to come towards me, and he has to cross this gutter somewhere. Oh, not there, though. And uh, this is Mike Griffith, number 45. 
That back wheel has gone in nearly out of sight. Mike's got going again and oh, he makes it look easy. Here comes the first of the expert riders, Stephen Grimshaw in the four-stroke class. He's managing to get up a bit of speed. Now he wants to keep the weight on that back wheel. There goes the local man, Tudor Lewis from Lambrin Meyer. Tudor's got that open ditch in front of him. He doesn't like the look of it. He's doing the sensible thing now, getting off the bike and walking it through. I think that's Andy Waters. He's done a good job today. He's been marshalling in front of the riders. Mark Livingston from Stockport on the Suzuki. Uh, some of these sportsman riders will be down on time. And if Mark's not careful, he'll be down in the bog too. That's Dave Case from Cumbran. I wonder what happened to him on the first test. His time was 14 minutes. The rider in blue, is it Clive Rollison? Oh, that other chap nearly went over the handlebars. Mark Livingstone uh, was still looking for his back wheel. The spectators are telling me that someone's fallen off, but I'm still watching Clive. And, oh, look at Dave Kays. The front wheel has dropped into a hole and he was catapulted over the top. Steve Smith from Ashby in the over 40s class and he was just running through the bog. It looks as though one of his number plates has fallen off, but he's got it wedged on the handlebars. He's looking a bit tired. He started the day at 9.28. It's now well after 3 o'clock. And he hasn't finished yet. Now then, I think he's through the worst of it. Will he head for Jack Parker? Oh, he nearly knocks him over. Well, Jack, I wouldn't print his photo for that. It's Giles Greenaway next. Uh, he's leading Derek on test times, but of course they've got another one to do after this part. It's all happening now. The expert riders are here. This is Chris Price from Lanothal. He's done some good test times. 5.53 on the first, 3.08 on the second. Those are respectable times in the expert class, but he's way behind Keith Isaac. The expert riders can't afford to waste time on this part of the course. It's fairly tight. That's Rob Smith from Usk. He took the Premier Award at the mountain top a fortnight ago. Expert rider Steve Griffiths, he's done the fastest time on the first test. Uh, Dave Stokes beat him on the second one, though. We know there's still one more test to come, but if Steve can put in a respectable time, he should win the expert class. Well, he's got to get to that third test first. Let's watch David Stokes going through. I remember seeing him at the mountain top. He came to an abrupt halt on the special test. Well, the bike stopped, but David went on. You did, David. I saw you. Steve Smith from Landrinder had a slow first test this morning. His bum bag flew open and he had to stop and pick all his tools up. That cost him at least two minutes. His time was 7.06. That rider in blue coming fairly quickly. Oh, he doesn't make it and falls in the ditch. This other rider in front of us is Ian Jones from Casus. He's just flying through. Someone else stuck in front of us. Uh, now, if we can ever get them in focus, it's Wynn Hughes. <laughs> These bogs are testing all the riders. It's not often we see Wynn Hughes having to get off. <laughs> Two Suzuki riders, Keith Isaac and Andrew Edwards.
Andrews had to get off. Keith is still going well. That's David Lott in serious trouble. I wonder which line will Andrew take. Oh, straight through the middle. But he's got up enough speed and manages to keep going. That's championship rider Chris Bird. I'm not sure if he wasn't stuck a minute or two ago. He's struggling a bit on this part of the course. And there's someone else coming up behind him. Will he get past him? Oh, did they collide then? Well, Chris Bird sails on, but the other rider's on the ground. I think it might be Neil Motter's head. He'll have a tale to tell when he gets home. I bumped into Chris Bird on the course. This is Peter Twig. This is the night and man, Mark Vaughan. He was going well, trying his best to keep that front wheel in the air. He had to come down sooner or later, though. And there's number 90, Philip Madden, in the four-stroke class. He'll be down a bit on time. Philip obviously saw what happened to Mark, so he's waiting a minute. That's Andrew Williamson sailing through. He was going well, but it's very soft in front here. Gail Humphreys manages to keep going with a bit of help. He now gets a pat on the back. Dale was a bit slow on that first test this morning, 6.28. One Kawasaki rider was going well. This one's got bogged down. I can't make out a number there. That rider's in a bit of trouble over there in the ditch. I think he's stuck worse than the bike. Expert rider Dave Acton. Oh, he goes straight down into the ditch and over the handlebars. We've seen some action here today and that's not the right way to do it. Here's Joe Twig in the over 40s class. He's still battling on. Oh! And who on earth was that? At least he's moving. One of the marshals is quickly on the spot. I think the rider is Adrian Harris. He's got his legs tangled up in the handlebars. This is Hugh Clark in the Clubman B class. Oh, I'm sure something's fallen off that bike. Was it the exhaust? Hugh looks round, he knows he's lost something, and there it is, the silencer. I've told Hugh to carry on. I'll pick this up and take it back to my car, and he can collect it at the finish. I hope he doesn't have a noise test. We're now back at Carno at the finish. The clubman riders are coming in. That's Alan Reed, number 122. He's ridden well today, but lost his time card. Stan Howitt has finished too, but the suspension has collapsed. I've got some provisional results now. In the Clubman A class, Keith Isaac wins with Andrew Edwards in second place. Andrew doesn't know that yet, but these results have got to be confirmed. I crashed on the first test. Oh. Early in the morning? Yeah. Oh. Giving us all a chance. <laughs> a few more results now. In the championship class, the overall winner, Wynn Hughes. Uh, Chris Bird was leading at one time, but dropped a minute on the go-in. But here's the man who's outridden everyone else today, Keith Isaac. On those first two tests, he's beaten everyone, uh, well, except Chris Bird.